everybody. My name is Wendy. I work at the Denver Museum of Miniatures, Dolls, to and Toys. I'm hanging out in the collections area today and just going through some stuff and checking on conditions. Thought you might like to try or follow along. So this is one of my favorite things in the collection. This little box right here has a whole dollhouse in it. And you can find templates to make a mini one of these online. I'll try to find it and link it when I post this. But this is the new Folding Dollhouse, patented January 30th, 1894. McLaughlin Brothers, New York. So that you can see the box isn't in great shape. So we're going to be really careful with it. You can see there's it's missing an edge. Um, but it's just a nice little cardboard box. And then the, or the top is cardboard, and then this is actually wood, because this is a pretty fragile piece. All right, put that lid back on here. So it says here, directions for opening and closing the dollhouse. To open, rest the folded house upon its edge on a table so that this hand, right there, a little graphic points upward it will be seen that the flaps are hinged in four pairs swing these pair four pairs out at right angles one to another so that the upper edge will assume the shape of a cross and the floors will drop into position as soon as released so it's like oh i didn't pay attention to my own rules and then each each floor actually says this says dining room folding dollhouse so I'll pull out all of these parts into a cross and then I can whoop, welcome to the living room I do believe All right, so you can see here we have the, oh, it's the dining room. And it's got this very like glamorous fireplace that looks very Victorian. So do a slow turn. And so then this will be our parlor we're coming into. This is the bedroom. Any, do any of you have a fireplace in your bedroom? I haven't had one since I was a little kid, but it didn't work. And then the kitchen. So you can see some things um, that look pretty familiar. Some of you might live in old houses, and some of these details don't look much different from what you have today. Um, you don't see things like lamps on the walls in this one yet. Um, and the sink here but I don't see taps maybe it's a dry sink um, and then this stove wouldn't have been an electric stove but it does look like they have a water heater maybe so that's pretty cool um, so all in all it would have been a pretty fancy house for an upper crusty kind of person Thanks for exploring this with me today. I'm gonna to fold it back up. It looks like it's still in good shape. I really like, oopsies, I missed one. I really like things like, let's see, patent number down there. Close up on these instructions. I like that it's so easy to store. I think about people who live in smaller spaces and dollhouses can just get really big. But if you had a box for your whole house and a box for all your accessories, that would be a pretty easy way to store it. It's pretty clever. And like I said, um, this is a famous American toy company and I hope you enjoyed exploring that with me today. Have a good day.